Hello, story time friends. I am Shannon, one of the librarians at the Sam Gary Branch Library, coming to you from our Idea Lab. This is kind of a different view than I've given you before of our Idea Lab here at the Sam Gary Branch Library. Hope you come and visit us soon. Um, we are having our toddler story time today. I'm so glad you're joining me. I hope you are feeling two thumbs up. I know I am. Um, and we are going to sing some songs. We are going to read a story and we are going to learn some great things today. I hope you are two thumbs up ready. Let's go ahead and get our big waves ready. We are going to sing our welcome song and this is hi, hello, and how are you? And I like to do it with some big waves or if you like to wave like this, whatever way you're feeling today. So we say, hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Good job, great job. I think we could probably sing that again. And maybe if you want to jump this one, I know we like to do that in our in-person story time, lots of jumping. Are you ready? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Good job. I love that one. All right, so we are going to learn our letter of the day. And it is this kind of squiggly looking one that is a, do you know it? It is a W. W. I know that's kind of a lot to say for a letter, W. Uh, but the sound that it makes most of the time is a W. Can you say W with me? W. Good job. And can you draw a letter W in the air or maybe on your hand or your grown up's hand? All great things. What are some words that start with our letter of the day? I'm going to show you some things and you can just shout out if you know the answer. <gasps> Do you know what this is? Glug, 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 glug. This is a water bottle. Wah, wah, water bottle. Can you say water? Wah, wah, water. Good job and pretend to drink your water or for real drink your water if you're thirsty. Great job. Water. Our next word is this animal. Do you see this one? Oh, a little lighter color up front here and a darker color back here. Do you know what animal this is? It is a w w wolf. Can you say wolf with me? Wolf, good job. And do you know what sound a wolf sometimes makes? Ho, 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 good job. It is a wolf, great job. Our last one, you might like these, but they're kind of wriggly and jiggly. Ooh, do you know what this is? It is a w w worm. Can you say that word with me? Worm. Do you like when you touch a worm? Have you ever found one outside? Worm? Hmm. I don't know if I like the feel of it, but it's definitely different. Worm. Water. Wolf. And worm. Wriggly worm. Oh my. Great job, friends. We learned all about the letter W. Good job. All right, so grown-ups at home, our kiddos need to learn three things about letters. They need to know the name, W, the shape, squiggles, and the sounds that they make, wah, 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 in this case. Naming letters that you see on signs, pointing out shapes on sidewalks, sidewalk cracks maybe, or in buildings or sides of buildings as you're wa wa walking around and voicing that letter sound while interacting are ways to make these connections. Great job. All right, now we are going to sing 
one of my most favorite songs. It is the alphabet song. And you might know it one way, but I think we're gonna sing it a little bit of a different way today. And there's a reason for it, I'll tell you later. But it's the alphabet song to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Do you know that song? Mary had a little lamb. You know the one. We're gonna sing the alphabet to that tune. Do you wanna try it with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. <laughs> Good job. And the secret reason we do that is we're breaking up the L, M, N, O, P to make it stand out a little bit more so it doesn't all sound like one long letter, like W. Are you ready? Let's do it again. I think it would be good practice, even for me. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good job. Or we'll really sing any song to any tune you like, and that's great for our little ones developing brains also. All right, it is time for our story. Oops, and I've got a really good nonfiction one for us today, which means we get to learn all kinds of true things. Some of my favorite things. All right, so this is called Who? Do you recognize our first letter there? Who am I? This is an animal guessing game by the wonderful Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. All right, I need your help with this one to help me figure out what animals we're talking about. Oh, do you already have a guess? I have a sticky, flicky tongue that brings you in skin, two bulging eyes, tongue webbed toes, a floating lily pad, and a fly for lunch. Who am I? <gasps> do you see? Who is this? Ah, oh. if I turn the page, are you gonna know it? I'm a frog. Ribbit. Can you be a frog? Ribbit. Delicious. All right, next animal. I have springy back legs, a fluffy white tail, a twitchy pink nose, Two long furry ears and a carrot to munch. Who am I? <gasps> I'm a rabbit. Hop, pop like a rabbit. Oh, wow. Hop, hop. Great job. Ooh, next one. I have a big pinchy claw, two stocky eyes, Eight scuttling legs, a tough blue shell, and a fish to catch. Who am I? Do you know this animal? I'm a crab. A crab. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Can you pinch your fingers like this, like the crab does? He caught a fish. Good job. Next animal. I have a pink and black beak, two skinny legs, bright colorful feathers, a single white egg, a long curvy neck, and a nest made of mud. Who am I? I'm a flamingo. Great job. All right, next we have I had a long drippy tail, ten nimble toes, eight clever fingers, soft brown fur, and a banana to eat. Who am I? I'm a monkey. Can you be a monkey? Good job. All right, I think this is our last one. I have two touchy antennae. Nine black spots, two delicate wings, two beady eyes, 
and a flower for a home. Who am I? I'm a ladybug. Oh, can you flap your wings like a ladybug? Amazing job. And this great book has all kinds of wonderful facts in the back of it as well about all of our animal friends. The end. Great job reading our story today, friends. Again, that was Who Am I? An animal guessing game. Great story today. All right, and I have a scarf today. This is a, what color scarf do you know? Red scarf. And if you have something similar at home, great. If you can use a blanket, a paper towel, something really light that can float nicely down. Um, yeah, light, yeah, like light blanket, light kitchen towel, something like that will work just fine for you and your little one. We're going to do my favorite scarf song, which is Popcorn Kernels. So the first thing we do is wave our scarves and then we have to put it in the pot and then we have to give them a shake till they pop. Do you remember this one? All right, you ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job. Good job. One of my most favorites to do. We can do that again. Tissue, anything at home will work really good. And to the same tune, we'll do my other favorite, which is Roly Poly, where we roll our arms. Great gross motor development building here with those arms and hands moving. You ready? Roly Poly, Roly Poly, up, 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 up. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, down, 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 down. Good job. And we can do it again. You can do out and in. You can do fast and slow. Um, let's do fast and slow. Are you ready? Rolly, poly, rolly, poly, fast, 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 fast. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, slow, 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 slow. Good job. Great job. All kinds of fun things that we can do with our scarves. Great job. And in fact, we can use them in our goodbye song because it is time for story time to be over today. And for us to sing our we wave goodbye like this song, but how much more fun is it to wave goodbye when you have a scarf or a blanket or a towel? You ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Good job. Thanks again for joining me. It's always so nice to have you at story time with us here at Sam Gary or online. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.